a very, very important part of your care, probably the most important visit that we have together because I'm gonna teach you the home care and the home care is 50% of the equation. It's kind of like a 50-50 partnership with chiropractic, right? You come in here and I do my things and I teach you and adjust you and you at home have to do your part, right? So you have a responsible part of the equation as well, right? It's not like, uh, you know, you bring your car to the mechanic and then you leave your car there and like, hey, you fix it up and then I'll be back later, right? That, that doesn't work. This kind of body work takes cooperation, okay? So it takes, <laughs> he's gonna run out the door now. He's like, what? I didn't know that I was supposed to do something. But really that's empowering because it gives you the power you're in control of your health. You're not gonna wait for the government to come in and save you. You're gonna take responsibility for your health and, and you're gonna do what it takes to be as healthy as possible. Does that make sense? Okay, so we're gonna talk about, before I show you the exercises, what does the actual spine look like, right? So the spine from the front is totally straight. Can you see that? But from the side, the spine actually has curves. Can you see how the lower back curves forward and the mid back curves backwards and the neck curves forward like that? Does everybody see that? So that's the ideal spine and posture, right? The posture is the window into the spine and the spine is the window into your health because the spine was created to surround and protect the spinal cord and nerves, okay? And this, the nervous system is the lifeline of the entire body. So let's go forward and we'll talk a little bit more about that. So this picture is a gentleman with an abnormal posture. Can you see that it's abnormal? If you look at the space between his left hip and arm, it's smaller than the space between his right hip and arm. Does everybody see that? So this is what <clears throat> the abnormal part is, the, the red line. The green line is where he should be to be as healthy as possible. Does everybody see that? Okay, now this is what the x-ray might look like with someone with a posture that's shifted out to the right side. So again, this line is normal, and this line is where the spine actually is. Can you see that it's in the abnormal, incorrect, or unhealthy posture? Everybody see that? Okay, and then this here, this is a quote actual, actually from the American Journal of Pain Management in 1994. Now, does that sound like a chiropractic journal or a medical journal? a medical journal and they said that posture affects and moder moderates every physiological function from breathing to hormone production. And then it says here spinal pain, headaches, mood, blood pressure, pulse, and lung capacity are among the functions most easily influenced by posture. Did you know that? Did you ever hear of a study that showed that abnormal alignment of the neck as it was realigned actually lowered the blood pressure as much as two pills lower blood pressure. That was done at the University of Chicago and printed in the uh, Journal of Hypertension. It said eight weeks of chiropractic care in the upper neck lowered blood pressure as much as two pills lower blood pressure. Okay? How about your, your lung capacity? Do you know that your posture can actually affect your lung capacity? Try this, and if you're watching from home, welcome, and you can try this at home also. Slouch down in your chair, tuck your chin down like you're in a forward flex posture. It's hard to do that with the collar, but you can flex forward. Take a deep breath in, and then let it all the way out. And then get yourself in a more upright posture where your head's kind of over your shoulders, and take the same deep breath in. Now raise your hand if you actually felt that you could breathe better in that posture, right? It's actually been shown in research that when your head's forward, going to decrease your lung capacity by up to a third, about 33%. Improving your posture can get the lung capacity increased. Now, if you have more lung capacity, get more oxygen, what do you think you feel like at the end of the day? Do you feel like you have more energy, the same, or less energy when you're in a better posture and you're getting more oxygen in your lungs? Up, oh, right? You feel more energetic, right? And the staff will tell you one of the most common things we hear from patients after they get their spine corrected is, oh my God, doc, I have way more energy than I did before I started coming to the chiropractor. That's because they're breathing better, their lungs are moving better, they're getting more oxygen in, and they have more energy. So that's kind of a side benefit when you come here with a neck pain or whiplash and you go out and you, your neck feels better and all of a sudden you're breathing better, right? And it helps, helps your, your energy. So that's really cool. So now, can you mute, uh, mute that on? Okay. It's okay. This, this is actually...
actually uh, just showing which side of the spine, if you could see that he's out to the right side, say I put two scales under him, one on the right foot, one on the left, and say he weighed 200 pounds. Ideally, he should be 100 pounds on each scale, right? But if he shifted to the right, his posture's to the right, what do you think, which scale, the right or the left, would have more weight on it? The right, good class, that's very good. A lot of times people don't get that, it's not a trick question. If you're shifted to the right, you're gonna put more weight on the right side and that's gonna increase the load on your hip, your back, your knee, your ankle, right? And so a lot of times if you have more weight, say on your hip or your ankle, and you walk around every day with more weight on that side, which hip or ankle is gonna degenerate or get arthritis or wear and tear faster? The right side, because it has more weight on it, right? It's kind of like your car. If your car gets out of alignment, right, and you take it to the, to the dealership, and they say your car is out of alignment, it's wore the right tire out because it's putting more weight on that side. Now, if you just changed the tire and you kept the alignment off, what would happen to the new tire? It's gonna wear faster because it's got more weight on that side, right? And that's why I think a lot of times spinal problems, hip problems, knee problems, things like that, they don't get fixed because we never correct the problem. We're not straightening the car out for we're just changing the tire in our American medical model, right? So someone's posture's off to the side, what do they do? You take a pill, maybe a massage, right? Maybe some ultrasound, those, those things we do, acupuncture, we feel better, but it never corrects the posture, right? So your posture's still in this bad position, you feel good, down the road, the posture kind of worsens and the pain comes back. Does that make sense? That's why you know, I, I call that kind of just patching the problem up rather than fixing it to as near to normal as possible. You see the difference? So in our office, we offer people pain relief for patching things up. That's what they want to do, but we also offer correcting the spine to as near to normal as possible. If you want to correct it, you have to do the home exercise. It won't correct without it. Just like if your car's out of alignment, it would be a miracle if it cured itself. Right? Think that would happen? No, <laughs> he says no. Okay, so let's go on here. Don't yeah. worry about that. Okay. Good. Okay, so this is an actual x-ray of someone looking this way. So the x-ray is going right through the side of their neck. They're looking this way. And the normal spine, remember we said the spine from the side has a curve? You see how that spine, the black line is the curved line? That's where the spine should be. But this red line is actually where the spine is. Can you see how that's straighter or it's lost its normal flowing curve? That's very common with people that get in car accidents, very common in people that um, you know, uh, play football or wrestlers with bridging or hit, hitting your head in football. It's also very common in, in people that do this all day. Work over a computer, a microscope, or the phone. <laughs> Have you ever seen a person walking down the street like this? Right? So that's kind of putting the head in the, in the abnormal posture. Okay? One of the first things that could actually straighten your neck out sometimes is childbirth being pulled out in the birth process. I mean, that's very rare, but that does happen as well. And that's another reason why we do check kids when they're young. My wife and I, we've had five kids. We've, I've checked every kid of mine when they're young. I have an eight month old granddaughter now, and I checked her when she was young as well. So it's very important to get checked when you're young. Okay? And then this is showing here. When the spine's in the wrong posture, it actually could affect the disc, which is the cushion between the bones. God made that little shock absorber in the body. And you can see here, the disc can actually bulge or herniate backwards. It can actually put pressure or irritation towards the spinal cord. This, this is the spinal cord here. Here's your brain. Your brain becomes your spinal cord here. And these are your bones on each side surrounding and protecting the spinal cord. So if your posture gets in the wrong position, it could actually put extra load on the disc cause this to start to degenerate more in the future as well. Did you know that? See, you just learned something, that's good. <laughs> okay, so let's move on here. What is a disc herniation? That's when the disc, which is this, this pinkish color, and this is someone facing the other way in their lower back, it can actually move backwards and put irritation, a chemically irritated nerve, and that can cause what's called sciatica. Who's heard the word sciatica before? What does that mean to you? Pain. Yeah. Pain. Where, where, where does the pain go? All the way down. Your leg, right? 
so the sciatic nerve is the largest nerve in the body. It's usually about the size of your pinky. Mm -hmm. And the sciatic nerve comes out at your back, just above your belt line, and actually runs down your buttocks, down your, your, your thigh, down your calf, and to your foot. So the worse the pressure is here on the top, that radiates further down your leg. So if you're actually having a pain down to your toes, that's pretty significant, right? Same thing in the neck. The neck nerves can be pinched, and then go down your arm, then go to your fingers. If your fingers are numb, tingly, that's not a good sign, right? And other things can cause that as well, but you know, we're talking from the chiropractic standpoint as a spine being out of alignment or the disc irritating nerves causing that pain down your arm and leg. That's why you must think I'm annoying sometimes. You're like, why does he keep saying to me, do I have pain radiating down my arm or pain down my leg? I and mean, we're checking that, you know, you have to check in with me to let me know if you have something like that. When the spine or the disc or other things can press on the spinal cord up in here, some of these nerves go to your urinary tract. And one thing that it causes when it's really bad what we call urinary incontinence. Does everybody know what that means? You do leak out urine, like one lady was telling me she played tennis and she hit a backhander and then urine would leak out. And it's very embarrassing, people don't want to go out in public with that, but if you have something like that, that's very, very important. Tell me right away or get to a neurosurgeon or talk to somebody about that really quickly because you don't want to play around with that. Incontinence, okay? All right. So how do we fix these problems? We, in our office, use a three-pronged approach. We use exercises in the office and at home. We use chiropractic adjustments or manipulation, and we use traction or decompression. Those are the three things that we use in our office to get the spine back to as near to normal as possible, okay? So I'm gonna turn the videotape off now.